on the path, you tend to find dualities. So you're like, ah, this is a uh, observer. And this is observed. And then you notice you're like, oh, wait, hold on a sec. This is kind of like a fake duality. So that this doesn't actually really exist. And I can kind of get rid of this line between them. Because this kind of separation is illusory. And then you're just left with like the, you're left with the coin. You know, it's like two sides of the coin. You're left with just the coin. It's like, oh, okay. Now, now that I've realized that this whole thing's illusory, it's like I don't actually need this container anymore. So you kind of got this container for where you're approaching reality. It's got a duality in it. You realize the duality isn't real. Okay, so I can get rid of the container too. And that's Miyamoto Musashi's principle, which is once you attain a principle, uh, detach from it. So then you can get rid of this container as well. So now, so what you, what you could do is you could stop there. You'd be like, ah, you know, like that's, that's the truth. It's like, I've realized, I've realized the truth. There's, it's non-dual. There's no duality, right? So you, you've done that and now it's non-dual. The truth is non-dual, but there is actually, <laughs> you know, if we, if we, let's say we have two different worlds here in, in this world, there's the world of containers. Excuse my handwriting. And in this world is like the non-conceptual. So this is this is a duality here. Uh, and I'm just using it for explanation's sake. <laughs> but really dissolve this duality after the uh after it's been inhabited. Um and in the world of containers, you know, there's all these different dualities, you know, all the different coins. Uh, all these different dualities with things, you know, split down the middle. It's like good and bad, space uh, and and nothingness, everything and everything and nothing, um, and like the separation between these these dualities as well. But the non-conceptual, um, once you move out of the container space, the non-conceptual has like a bunch of stuff in it too. It's just extremely fucking weird, and it makes no goddamn sense at all because it's not conceptual. So I think there's like a bit of a misconception, which is like, you th just because you get rid of the container and you access the non-conceptual realm for like, if you even could even call it a realm, it's not a realm. You access the non-conceptual, if you can even say you access it, um, you can, and then nothing makes sense in non-conceptual. Just because you get rid of a container um, doesn't mean that you understand everything or immediately. Um, there's still like a lot of stuff to understand, which isn't in this container realm. Um, and it's kind of like this, this kind, this stuff, everything in this uh, non non boundary, which is impossible to uh, truthfully express with words. This isn't really a boundary, because everything non conceptual is kind of conceptual too. Um, Everything in this non-boundary of the non-conceptual is very complicated, like specific, diverse, individual, different. Um, and I think you can kind of tell, you can kind of tell how realized someone is by looking at how they talk about this kind of stuff. Because a lot of people who, people who haven't done any like good actual work, like make you focus on getting rid of containers. So like, ah, oh, you know, just get rid of all the containers um, work through all the dualities and then you're done. But really it's like, this is where, this is where the good stuff is. So really what you should be doing if you want to be on the path and be successful is doing work there. <laughs>